everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my hamster vlog because today I am getting my hamster. So I'm actually filming this after I got the hamster because I forgot to film an intro, but this morning me and my boyfriend went to a couple different Petco's to find a hamster and we did end up calling around and we found one Petco that had a long-haired Syrian hamster, which is what I wanted was a long-haired one. We actually ended up going to two two Petco's, which you guys will see. But the first one had um, like one Syrian and I wasn't very interested in the ones that were there. So the second Petco we went to, they actually had four Syrians that were very, very cute and seemed pretty sweet, but they had one long haired one, which is the one that I wanted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the footage of us going to Petco and getting him and then, you know, bringing him home and everything. So I've been home with him for about an hour now and for the past hour all he has been trying to do is escape So he's gonna be one of those hamsters that is going to try to escape the entire time But I have noticed he has started to calm down I think he realizes that he's safe and he's starting to like bury himself under the bedding and go to sleep I took out the fleece bedding because he was chewing at it and I just don't want to take the chance So I took the bed out of the enclosure and I'm gonna put a bowl full of reptisand in there Which I had to order online because Petco and Petsmart doesn't have reptisand for some reason and then he's actually not even able to spin this 12 inch wheel like he's not strong enough right now so I'm going to buy like an 8 inch or 10 inch wheel for right now just for, until he gets bigger to actually be able to spin this wheel because he keeps trying to run in it but he can't move it so I'm going to get a smaller wheel for him he seems to really like the food here he is chowing down in his food bowl right now He's already knocked bedding into his water bowl like three times. If you guys have any tips on like how to keep a water bowl clean because I've had to refill it twice already because he just keeps putting bedding inside of it. I mean, I have that water bottle over there, but, and like I said, I took out this fleece bed, even though I really, really love it. It's just, he was chewing on it. So I put this little hide in there for right now, but I'm gonna put like a big plastic, well, I don't even know if I should do plastic. I don't know if I should get like a ceramic bowl and fill it with sand, but I'm going to put like a sand bath thing right here and get a smaller wheel for right now. And then I ordered a lot of like hanging chew toys and different types of chew toys as well, just to keep him busy. But those are coming like tomorrow and the next day on Amazon. He seems happy. He's about six months old. He's a Syrian hamster. Um, I think PetSmart or Petco had him as like a long-haired teddy bear hamster or something like that. They had a bunch of different weird names for their different Syrians, so. Yeah, I had the lights on. I went ahead and turned them off, but I really like him. He's super cute. He's literally exactly what I wanted in a hamster looks-wise. We'll see how his personality is. He lets you pet him, 
He doesn't try to bite or anything, but he is very like jumpy and scared. So this afternoon I'm getting my groceries and I got a bunch of different fruits and vegetables for him that I'm going to try to give him some treats tonight and see if he'll come into my hand. But I wanna leave him alone for a couple days just so he gets acclimated. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to attempt to hold him or anything, but I will start giving him treats and stuff. He was $15 at Petco, which I feel like is super, super cheap. Like all the hamsters and guinea pigs are like 15 to $20, which is so cheap for me. Like I wish they kind of made them more expensive just so people were less determined to like get them for their children but that's just me I guess but I guess that's all I really have to say I mean it was super fun that carrier that I bought worked great in the car he couldn't get out of it I could feel him trying to chew on the holes a little bit but not too much I am very nervous with the cat Spectra and Twyla both saw him and immediately were trying to jump onto the dresser to eat him so I've been keeping the bedroom door closed which I pretty much did anyway but they have no interest in my gecko at all but they can actually see him moving and being awake so if I'm not home the bedroom door is closed because they will try to get in this enclosure to eat him you can hear the cat screaming right now because they want to get inside so bad they're literally pawing at the door and Mochi's just sitting there like what <laughs> but yeah I don't know if you guys could tell obviously but I reorganized my room so I could fit this hamster enclosure in here so now this is just kind of like an animal slash holding my clothes but then I bought this bookshelf from Target and put my TV on it. I don't really watch TV unless my boyfriend's over in here and so I just decided to put it over there because it's not really a big deal if I have to turn to the side to watch TV and then I ended up putting like my makeup palettes and perfumes and stuff over here because that's just that was what was taking up so much space on my dresser so I decided to get this like $20 bookshelf at Target and just put all that on there and it ended up working really well. I think it looks nice and it feels very organized to me. I have those two bags of food up there just to add extra weight on top of the lid just in case the hamster may try to get out. Who knows but you know gotta be a little bit careful here. But he keeps going behind the wheel. I don't know if you can see him but he keeps going behind the wheel and trying to climb out but it kind of looks like right now he's trying to dig under so maybe that's what he is going to do. Let's just go to sleep. We'll give you guys updates in the next couple days on how he's doing, how he's acting, and things like that, just to give you guys kind of an idea of what to deal with the first couple days of having a hamster, I guess. I've never had one before, so it'll be new for me as well. So I will check back in in a couple days or whenever he does something. <laughs> Hey guys, it is a couple days later. I wanted to give an update on the hamster. I think I'm going to name him Haru, like Haru the hamster. I think that's cute. I know it's a pretty like basic hamster name, but I think it is a cute name. So I think his name is gonna be Haru. I'm gonna show you how he's sleeping right now. He's been doing that for the past two days and it's been super cute. And I wanted to mention that I did take out the silent spinner and that is because I think the 12 inch one is just too big for him right now. I don't think he's strong enough to run on it he keeps trying and it's not working so online a lot of you guys told me that silent spinners really aren't even silent anyway and the best wheel to get is the like wonit runner or something like that i don't know i just got the one that you guys recommended to me but i got a nine inch one for right now and i'm going to be putting that in there because it's a little bit smaller it won't take up too much space and i feel like he'll be able to run in it for right now um i know 12 inches like the ideal size for a syrian but I mean, he literally can, can't even push it. So here's what it looks like. I just put another like hide back in there. Yeah. And I wanted to mention that I mix this sunburst food with the Missouri rat and mouse diet because apparently these two mixed together is the ideal food for hamsters. It gives all of the nutrition values that they need. So that is what I got and then I put like a tablespoon or like two tablespoons of it in there yesterday and he's already eaten about half of it but I'm gonna give him a little bowl of some like bananas, raspberries, blueberries, and some like romaine lettuce in a second. But you can barely see him down here but can you see his little face? He's sleeping right now and it's super super cute. He keeps putting bedding into this bowl so if you guys have any ideas on like how to fix that let me know because I don't know if he's drinking anything or not. But I'm going to actually put the little 
like food salad that I'm gonna make and I'm gonna put it in there but I'm gonna wait till he wakes up and it's about like 10 o'clock at night right now so hopefully he should be waking up in a second all right here's my little salad I have some romaine lettuce in there I have some bananas a blueberry and a carrot let me know if that's too much to give or not just for a little treat and how often it's okay to do this but I'm gonna try to feed him like a banana or like a blueberry by hand because I know he likes the blueberries Okay, I'll put that back in the bowl. Let's see what the carrot. Maybe he's still too tired to eat. Maybe I should just put the bowl in there. Here, I'll just put the bowl in here. So yeah, I'm get, I guess I'll just leave this little bowl in here um, and see if he'll eat some. But like I said, it's just I just made like a little salad. I also have like raspberries and cucumber and stuff that I'm going to try. But I want to see what he likes the most to continue to give him. And he obviously really likes this food because there was like... It's like half filled now and he ate all of I put two of these in there because they're pretty big he ate both of those and then he's eaten like half of this I don't know if he's actually eaten it or if he's just hiding it in places because he's made his hide like down here and you can't really see it too well but there's like little seeds and everything stuck in there that he's taken with him so it's funny I guess he decided that he wanted to hide again so I'm gonna wait till maybe he comes out again to film him some more, but I wanna watch him eat because it's super cute when he eats. Hey everyone, it is like a day later since I last updated you guys. I just got home from work and when I went to the post office, I had two packages. I know what they all are. They're all from Amazon and it's all hamster stuff. So I'm going to do like another little hamster haul. I'll put the links for all of these items down below if you guys are interested. So the first item is in this little envelope. So there's multiple items in here. So I just all kind of piled everything in here, I guess. So the first thing is this like chew toy, like bridge type thing. You can like bend it. I'm actually gonna take it out of the plastic so I can show you guys. It's kind of like a little like wooden ramp, but he can use it as a chew toy. I'm trying to get as many chew toys and things to distract him as possible because all he tries to do 24 seven is escape. That's all he wants to do. I feel like he doesn't even like me. So annoying, but apparently that's normal. Because a lot of you guys messaged me on Twitter saying that your hamsters just try to escape all the time and they have big enclosures as well. So that's annoying. This seems like real wood. Feels like real wood. Oh no, I thought it, oh yeah, it does bend. Just like this, but it's like hard to bend it. Like you really have to push. So I'm just gonna kind of like do it like this and he can also chew on it, but it's like real. Just cause it's just cheaper online to get things like that. And then I got this little toy that hangs from the enclosure and since I have chicken wire at the top of my bin, I'll be able to hang it. This is a Katie Perfect Chew Toy. A lot of people recommended this specific chew toy for hamsters because apparently they really like to chew on these things. And if it's hanging, maybe it'll distract him and make him want to chew on it more. This was like $2 on Amazon, guys. If you have Prime, it was literally like 2 or $3. And then this is the Katie Carrot Patch. And they're just like more little chew toys. I don't know if this would be okay for a hamster. I, I'm not going to put this one in, but I'm going to put these wooden ones in. I'm, I'm sure the wooden ones are okay. But I'm not going to put like this weird like wire looking one and it just doesn't seem very safe for some reason but i just got these these were like two or three bucks as well so i just got those little things in that package and then the big box is my sand it's super heavy but i'm so glad that it fit in the p.o box because i accidentally bought the wrong sand before i bought calcium sand not knowing that you can't use calcium sand with hamsters so I ordered the sand that everybody recommended because I'm too lazy to go to the store and buy children's play sand and like bake it and everything. It's just not happening. So I got this bag of Repta sand to use because this is safe for hamsters. It's natural. It doesn't have any calcium or dyes or anything like that in it. And this is the one that was recommended. I went to like four pet stores and nobody had Repta sand. It was so annoying. So I just went ahead and ordered it online. So I'm going to use this to make Haru's sand bath. And I'm going to put all of this in his cage right now. He's asleep with all of his food buried. He did end up eating his little salad that I made him last night. I don't know when he ended up eating it, but his bowl is empty. So he either ate it or he's hiding it somewhere. And he's been using one of his the little green hide. The green hide that I bought, he uses it as like a litter box. Like he poops and pees in it. And I'm like, that's kind of cool because it's easy to clean. 
but I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm just gonna get like a, a bowl, like one of my ceramic bowls that I like eat with and just fill it with sand. I feel like it would be a lot bigger than like my little hide thing that I have. So let me go get a bowl and I'm gonna put the rest of the stuff in his enclosure while he's sleeping. Okay, you can't really see it that well, but I just got one of my like ceramic bowls and I put the sand in it. And then I also put some sand in like that thing over there because that's what he likes to go to the bathroom in thing right there. And I hung this from here so he could like be on that and then chew on that. But I feel like he's gonna try to just jump and climb up this and then get up here, but we'll see. And that's pretty much it. The wheel comes in two days. So this stuff right here, these two things are going to move and the wheel's gonna be there. Okay guys, it has been a couple days later. It's been, I think a week now since I got the hamster. He's doing great. Um, the last footage you saw was him. We did like every night I tried to like put him in the bathtub and hold him and stuff like that. Doesn't bite me or anything. He's pretty calm when I'm holding him, um, but he's been doing good. I have noticed that the enclosure, he kind of seems like he doesn't have enough space to kind to roll in to what my next hamster video is going to be about. I bought one of the biggest enclosures a lot of people on YouTube use and I'm gonna make a video on it. <laughs> so I ordered the Ikea Detolf, which is what a lot of hamsters owners on YouTube use. Basically, it's a display case from Ikea, but you don't put the shelves in and you put it on its side and it's just one big glass enclosure. And it's $60 at Ikea, so it's super cheap and it comes to like almost a thousand square inches of space. So my next video is going to be me like building and doing this enclosure for Haru. Look how cute they're being. I've been sick today like pretty bad and Mochi has not left my side today at all. He's literally just been sleeping beside me all day today. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me get my hamster. If you have any like hamster video ideas, then just comment down below. I'll do, you know, anything y'all want me to do. And like I said, my next hamster video will be me upgrading the enclosure already, even though I've only had him a week. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.